Greetings, my doe brothers and my doe sisters. Welcome back to Jets and Fleet Gaming. I'm Jerry the Tree Whiz. Today we have something extra special, extra delicious, filled with flavor. The greatest player in the game has given us his top 10 most common seen cards in top ladder so the top players in the game he told us what they're using it started when we did our tank arena video recently and he said tank arena is a really cool card but you don't see her top ladder so i said who do you see top ladder let us know at jets and fleet gaming who is the greatest player in the world it's punisher 69 ladies and gentlemen that's my opinion if you want to change it challenge them we'll get a battle here together we can see who's the best in the world i have watched all these players as if they are, as if it's a sport. It is a sport. I'm familiar with everybody. Rigel, I'm familiar with Elmas Noob, uh, Lam Nguyen. I mean, all the way down the line, even when Alexanity was up in the top, we have been following these top players on this channel for a very long time now. We have our Friday Game Breaker series. We kind of took a break from because the same players have just held down the same spots. My long story short is I've watched these players a long time, and I think Punisher69 is the greatest player in the world. Challenge me about it. Hope to start some controversy. Like the video if you like it. Like the video if you dislike it because we love you and it's free. Thank y'all. All right, so what you've been waiting for is the top 10. We're gonna start at number 10 and we are gonna roll down to the number one most seen card in top ladder gameplay. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you. Coming in at number 10 is Killbot. Let me read what Punisher himself dictated to you, the loving, beautiful audience. Killbot, he's good against any deck as long as you're able to get him to his third stage. That's my current play right now. Been able to take down Elmas, Noob, Rigel, Zeke, Mitch Hold, Mick Hold. Sorry I didn't mention all you guys. You're all the, you're all great players. You might all be the best in the world. Rigel, Zeke, Mick Hold, Robno, you name them, I've got them on my list. LOL. Man, calling you guys out. Let's get it going. Who is the greatest in the world? Coming in at number nine, Van Gun is back, baby. There's a new Van Gun deck on the block. Ask Sweaty from Doe Runners. He made it popular again. Thanks for shouting out Sweaty. He's also on YouTube. Make sure you go sub to his channel. We like the, all the community. Uh, they're collaborating. Good job, everybody. Good job, developers. Good job, Luxdoor. Good job, Sweaty. Good job. There's a lot of you guys. Love you all. Moving on to number eight, Witch. She's my surprise to every commander ever faced. She's good all around. Place her this low because not all players can use her as intended. It takes skills to use her at the right moments. And if you watch these replays, you can see he really is, he's, he's the Witch King. He's the Witch King. Moving on. Number seven, Piranha Surprise. For a two doe cost, you get constant damage on enemy's towers, why not? Pair it with shutdown and mischief, boom. Nice, good tip. Moving on, number six. Grievel, right? Grievel, he is an all-around troop. Place him on the floor and forces enemy commanders to come your way to kill him. You bait out his rage power on him or airstrike. Who doesn't want extra dough, right? Yeah, that's a good point. I always think about just trying to use him for dough, but he's kind of a bait card. You force the commander out if you know what you're doing. And I want to point out what you said, Punisher. You have to know what you're doing with these cards. Just because they're top ladder doesn't mean they're the best for everyone because you have to be very skilled to use these cards. Major Fire, coming in at number five, we've got Major Fire. A lot of lower level players sleep on this guy. High level players know the damage he can do and play him with Nightfall and he gets the job done. Splash damage plus a mini tank. Wow, I never thought of it that way. That's actually extremely interesting. Uh, this is this is why we need you here. Guys, it's cool that I can play with you guys, but I want to make sure to get the greatest tips in the world from the greatest players in World War II. And at number four, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Boom. He's good against any high HP card, plus the splash damage on him is awesome. Pair him with cheerleaders and he's OP. He's a commander killer. I haven't used much of Mr. Boom because I don't have him at a high enough level, but man, do I see him around a lot. I'm glad he's made his way into the arena. Number three, Jetpack. OP, not a lot of cards can target air, and having your commander in the sky is OP plus the rear entry damage for only two dough. Yup, OP in my book. Wow, throwing out the big, the big letters. OP, love to hear it. I've thought that before too, and if the best player in the world saying it's OP, 
and me, in my opinion, is pretty valuable, right? Just kidding. Be mine. Number two. Number two, be mine. You can literally stop a big ground push with two dough. I seen it. <laughs> Plus, a good chunk of damage against the commander. Fast cycle card as well. Yeah, it, you're very right. I love B mine. It's actually in my deck right now, and it's uh, it's a big reason for me getting a lot of victories and a lot of commander kills. I'll place it right under the commander's feet. And ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number one, the most valuable top ladder, most important top ladder card, Discombobulator Ray. Ladies and gentlemen, it's got too much use. Let's read it. It's good against any troop and building. It can also be used as a cycle card against Spell Rod. See, I don't think of these tips like that. I wouldn't think to do a negative dough trade, but you're the greatest, and that's why we're glad you brought this to the channel. He also gave us some additional tips. He said, uh, hot inside tip, cheerleaders are coming back. Okay, so you gave us some things coming soon. And he says, mischief. Mischief is not a top ladder card yet, but he says it's on the way as well with Mammoth and the Invisible and Clown car that's still kind of waiting to see what happens with that. He says disc, disc, uh, Discombobulator Ray, though, is the most important card to have in your deck at top ladder play. You can see from some of his replays here that Mischief really has come in so handy, and he's playing the greatest player in the world, Elmas Noob, or the, the top player, or is it Lamb right now? I don't know. We haven't done our Game Breaker series. You guys want us to bring the Game Breaker series back? We can do it, y'all. All right, so in closing, this top 10 list, you can't just make a deck of these cards and win. You have to follow the tips that he gave. Watch his gameplay. Understand the big brain moves that are going on here. Subscribe to this channel if you like this kind of content. Keep playing World War Doe. Spread the love to everybody you meet today. And let's keep this thing rolling. Ladies and gentlemen, from the bottom of my heart to the top of my head and everything in between. To the Batmobile. <laughs>